the ultimate objective of information security is to ensure the continued availability of business services to the users so there are uh, two kinds of activities which we perform to ensure this aspect one is the risk management and second one is the formulation of disaster recovery plan so risk management is performed to identify all uh, the risk uh, to an organization and then to counter uh, these risk prior to their happening but once uh, any risk uh, which is not countered or which may not be foreseen uh, by risk management happens and there is a disaster then there should be a safety net and this safety net comes in the form of disaster recovery plan so after formulating our disaster recovery plan uh, we need to test this plan in order to check its efficacy in case of any disaster so the connotation of a test is counterproductive uh, since the outcome of a test can be uh, positive or negative Uh, so therefore it may be referred to as an exercise to improve uh, the overall response of disaster recovery team so there are uh, different types of uh, test and uh, which um, include the checklist test the structure walk through simulation test parallel test and full interruption test so starting uh, from the checklist and then uh, going towards the full interruption we perform advanced level of uh, testing so the checklist test may uh, in uh, checklist test we may be reading the disaster recovery plan to check for any omissions or errors and in full interruption test the production services are stopped and then they are resumed at an alternate site so once we talk about checklist test so it may be called as paper test or a desk test or a read through so in a checklist test the copies of disaster recovery plan are distributed to various stakeholders or all stakeholders and then these stakeholders Uh, which can be the manager of different functional department in an organization review uh, this disaster recovery plan and then they offer suggestions to disaster recovery team to to update this plan and then their suggestions are incorporated so in this case uh, we uh, may get the opinion of different stakeholders the next test is this uh, structured walk through and this is also just the review but in this case all uh, the stakeholders gathers in a conference room to discuss the disaster recovery plan and uh, to offer their suggestions and then this plan gets updated so this structured walk through is also uh, called a structured talk through because uh, you are still talking re- about disaster recovery plan and there is uh, no operational execution of this plan so once we come to the simulation or table uh, top exercise in this case the disaster recovery team uh, is given a specific scenario maybe some of the non critical services uh, are shut down to check uh, the response of the team or maybe there uh, won't be any uh, shutting down of any services and just a scenario is given and the actions communication and strategies which will be executed by the disaster recovery team are checked so there is no relocation of 
services to any alternate or disaster recovery site now once we talk about uh, the failure test in this case the relocation of disaster recovery resources and the disaster recovery team member happens so all the disaster recovery related uh, resources are relocated uh, to the alternate site or disaster recovery site and then uh, the services are restored at the alternate site so there is uh, however no disruption of uh, production services and production services are still operational at the primary site just in parallel we relocate the disaster recovery assets uh, to alternate site and then uh, maybe the backup operations are performed to restore the data and in this case we can also check that whether the backup uh, is functional however uh, the services are still operating from the primary site this is just a test so in this case the disaster recovery ability to replace and restore systems from backup are also confirmed so once we talk about the final test that is also known as cut over or full interruption test so as uh, it is evident from its name there is a disruption of operational services so the services are Uh, from the primary site are uh, put to offline and then they are restored from the alternate site so the backup system at alternate site after uh, restoring data from the backup uh, drives they perform uh, operations instead of primary site so the primary site is shut down uh, just uh the case which will happen in case of actual disaster so this full interruption test uh, may not be happened because of reluctance from the management side because uh, no one wants to uh, disrupt the running services but it is a type of test which you can perform to ultimately check uh, the actual uh, scenario of disaster So this was all from my side please stay connected thank you